Good morning. If you've been watching, you know I already posted a Saturday vlog last week and it started out pretty similar to this one, not gonna lie, but that's just how my Saturdays have been going. I usually sleep in till 6.30ish. Or if I wake up earlier, I end up staying in bed until 6.30. So I'm up, I've had, I've been sipping on a cup of coffee and then I went ahead and ate one of my Quest bars. I've been loving the cookies and cream flavor as well as the, I think it's like a chocolate chip cookie dough flavor one. I've really been liking these. They're more, I feel like they're filling, they taste good and they just hit the spot. So I wanted to get some food in my system because I plan to work out today in the morning. On Saturdays, I want to, I like to work out in the morning. And then um, I am going to make my Target run and it's seven o'clock. So Target will be open soon. No, eight. I'm waiting for the sun to rise, actually, to be honest. I would rather, I want the sun to come up a little bit before I get out there. But I really wanted to document today because I'm going to have this be a, like a taking, taking care of business vlog because, or taking care of business day in my life. I have a handful of things that I just need to check off the list that I've been either putting off or just avoiding and they're not like huge things and I wouldn't have to. I would not have to. I guess it doesn't really impact anyone else but me. Like my closet being a little messy, that's me. My office, if it's messy, that only impacts me really. But I'm finding that I've been letting things go. I've just been letting things sit around and pile up and I never, I don't want, I don't want to be like that. So I am going to be working on making myself a to-do list. I do have some things written down in here, but I'm going to just write down a few things and really tackle them today. So this is going to be, like I said, a taking care of business, getting things done. And hopefully this motivates, to you, motivates you to take care of some things that you've maybe been putting off. And by no means do I want this to be, or by no means do I want to get too caught up in just go, 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 go. The weekends, as you know, I do like to take some time to recuperate just because as a teacher, I do get the weekends off. I work Monday through Friday, unless we have, yeah. I work Monday through Friday and it is pretty go, go, go all day. And you, it takes a lot of energy. So it's so important on the weekends to take time for myself. But I, I'm also feeling lately like self-care is... Self-care for me also means cleaning up my space, making healthy choices, doing things that are good for me, my well-being. So yeah, like I said, cleaning up my space. I want to make sure I exercise. I'm going to wash my hair today. It's day five. If you haven't already, I did share my hair care routine. I will put that in a card for you to check out if you want to go see that now and then come back. But I just share the products I use to wash my hair and then also some like aftercare products as well. Let's see. I'm going to give myself maybe like 20 more minutes to just kind of hang out. And then I'm going to put on some probably athletic wear because I'm going to go do my target run. And then when I get back is when I plan to work out. So then I'll just be ready to work out. And then after I work out, I'm going to shower. I plan to make a protein smoothie. And then from there, I'm feeling like I could get to work in my office and just tidy things up and then i i guess i already have a list going in here so wash hair fitness my target run it's not it's funny i put this on my list but it's not a necessity of ordering a new planner i like this one and i've always really liked is it blue sky no yes blue sky planners i get one every year basically they always they never disappoint but this is like the layout so there's just a larger rectangle for each day of the week. And then the weekends end up being these little small ones. I'm finding that there's not always enough room to like write everything. And I'm someone who likes to plan like pe paper, pen. I like to write. I prefer to write in my planner. So I've kept my eye out for a planner that starts this too. That starts with the new year. I've always gotten a new planner at the beginning of the school year, which is fine. It's great. I mean, that's how my job and life go, but I would like it to be part of my new year is getting a new planner. So I'm looking for a planner that starts January 2022. The Happy Planner is the brand I'm looking at. 
uh, Caitlin Nyer here on YouTube. She shared the one she got and it is so beautiful and I went to uh, purchase it and I think it was sold out and then I signed up for like a notification to tell me when it's back in stock. And I never got an email, but I was checking online the other day or just yesterday and it looks like it's back in stock. So I might check that out again, not a necessity, but I might have to purchase that. Anyways, I'm going to keep just chilling out here. I'll check back in when I'm going to change and get to Target. All right, it's time to get a move on people. So I'm going to, because I know myself. And I know I'm going to be tempted to get Starbucks when I'm at Target because that's what I have been doing. I'm going to take some of our hot, hot coffee from this morning. I had one cup. I'm going to just film this mug almost to the tippy top. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to let it chill. And then later on today, I'm going to let myself enjoy an iced cup. So I'm just going to let that sit, hang out there. I don't know if you guys do that, but I'm going to put that on ice and get some, uh, put some creamer and it'll be really good. I might need to pick up, yep, I need to make sure I pick up some more of these coconut aminos. This has been really good to put on my, um, my lunches this week. All right, I do need to change. And... Yeah, I'm going to change and I'm going to put on, I think I mentioned, what I'm going to work out in. And then um, after I shower and wash my hair, I will transition into more of just like a lounge wear. So let me know, you guys. Are you like early riser, let's get things done type of people? Are you guys up early on the weekends? I know it really just depends on, like for me... Sure, I've been able to wake up pretty early on the weekends, but if I had like a really late night, that probably wouldn't be the case, but I don't really stay up late. I go to bed around 8, 8.30, and so does my husband, and that's just how it's been, so I don't stay up late, so that's I, I can contribute that to why I can <laughs> go to bed, or that's why I wake up pretty early. All right, let's find some active wear. I haven't been super obsessed with, oh my gosh, it's so messy in here, my leggings lately. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been just reaching for the same ones uh, just because some of these are definitely more for like lounging and then as far as actually being active wear, some of them just don't do it for me. Hmm. I think I'm going to wear... I'm going to throw on a long sleeve. I like to start my workouts like that lately just to get myself warmed up and then I can take it off if I get too warm. And then as far as, hmm, ooh, maybe I'll wear these. I haven't worn these in a while and I think I don't reach for them because I've been really into just like black on black. But these are some pink from Victoria's Secret. I, these are really comfy, so... I'm going to throw those on and call it good. I have not been, I have not been outside yet, but I can just feel, I can just feel the cold. I haven't checked the weather or the forecast, the temp, that's fine. All I know is that I need to break out the winter coat. This should keep me warm. All right, I will be on my way to Target and I'll show you what I end up picking up. Don't have a ton on the list, just a couple of things, honestly, mainly food items for the week, for my lunches, and I might check out some other things, but I'm gonna stick, stick to the list. So I finally purchased a couple of reusable totes because I am at Target. I run to Target at least once a week, once every two weeks, and instead of instead of getting the plastic bags every single time, we have so many, we like to use those to line our garbage cans in our bathroom. And when it gets to that point of needing more of those, I will, I can get more obviously, but I just wanted to show you what I ended up getting at Target. And 
I did stray from my list a tad. And there's some things in here I'm not going to show because my, um, my family does a little gift giveaway, gifting game. So I picked up a couple of things for that. So I'm not going to show those items, but I'll show you what, what else I got. All right, Target haul coming at you hot. I'm trying out a new creamer, a zero sugar creamer. I'm, I'm trying to make some smarter choices. So zero and I love caramel flavor. So that should be good. More coconut aminos for my lunches at school. I picked up some more 90 second rice. I stuck with the whole grain brown rice this time. Again, for my lunches. And I'm going with some green beans to put with my lunches. I like to change up the veggies every week just because I find that if I do the same thing, it gets old real quick for me and I don't want to get bored of it. I want to stick with it. So this is what I mainly went to Target for. And then I love, raise your hand if you love the clearance section for clothing. I found this really cute sleeper. It's the Stars Above brand, so soft. So it's just like a little nightgown. I thought the color was really nice. And again, on clearance, I usually, I like never buy full price Target clothing. It has to be on clearance. <laughs> I found this cute little top to just layer. I know it's a crop top, so I won't be wearing it on its own. Maybe in the summertime, but I thought it was a nice color to layer. I could wear it with black, white, jean denim over top that's the wild fable brand and then i found this nice pullover from a new day i wear medium typically but i picked this up in large for like the oversized fit and i've been looking for some more joggers i know i have i've been looking for some more joggers and this all in motion brand i've really come to jo enjoy and i spotted this color on the clearance rack and i don't mind a nice purple so I feel like these will be really comfy too so maybe I will maybe I'll try this out for you but what's more important is I need to stick to my schedule and I need to get my workout in but before that I'll put my groceries away and I need to drink water and I was wishing I had I that I had a like pre-workout drink but I'm instead, I'm just going to throw some of this collagen beauty into my shaker bottle. And huh, yeah, I'm going to throw some of this in there and just sip on it while I work out. And I think it should be good. All right, let's get back on track. All right, I know I've shared this before, but for my workouts, I really depend on good old YouTube and I make playlists for yeah, in my library for days of the week that I work out. And then I have one just to save like my favorites. If I just need a little extra something to do quick, I save them there. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, such a Saturday. And it looks like I have a Pilates arms and abs workout for 30 minutes. Let's get to it. Oh man. All right. So I did the 30 minute Pilates, the arms and abs. And that was good. I just I don't know if I like the slow pace of it. I don't know if I would like doing that every day. But what's great is I don't have to do that every day. Anyways, it was good for today. And then I just threw on a 10 minute lower body fat little burner workout for the end. So I'm done with my exercise for the day. It's time to shower. I'm gonna shower, wash my hair, follow my hair care routine. And then I think I'm going to try on those few items I got from Target. And then I might end up wearing the little like loungy set I got. And I'm going to wash it though before I full on wear it. And then I'm going to get to my to-do list. Okay, it is time for a protein smoothie. All right, just want to quick show you what I put in my smoothie. I'm doing a mixed fruit blend. Pineapple, strawberries, mango, peaches. I'm going to do a scoop of this greens blend for detox and digest. And some vanilla protein powder. And then I'll probably do, if I have almond milk or oat milk, I think actually. And then, or I might do water. We'll see. But that's all I put in there. Last minute, I remembered I like to add chia seeds too. So here it is. I like making mine like a thick so I like when they're thick and creamy. So cheers to the weekend.
hey guys i made a little iced coffee just a little iced coffee to go i'm gonna head to, i'm gonna actually hang out with my sisters i don't think i'm gonna film but when i get back i will check in hey guys good morning it's hard to show completely but we got our first major snowfall happy sunday i am carrying this vlog over to sunday i was just gonna do a saturday vlog but i feel like there's more i can share with you today uh typically we would go to church at nine ish but we're gonna stay home and watch it online today because of the snow and then we're gonna do our typical sunday things which means chipotle and football Okay, yeah, so like I mentioned, Sunday typically calls for church, Chipotle, and football. Uh, so we're gonna watch church online, and we might watch it pretty soon because there's an earlier service. We usually don't go to the earlier one in person, but since we're watching online, we might watch it early. And then we'll go get Chipotle probably at like 11. And then our Vikings play at noon, so that'll be great. So this morning, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go take a shower change my outfit from my like PJs to my loungewear for the day. I have a to-do list that I created yesterday and I'm just going to get to it. I'm, this is a motivating weekend, getting back on track, taking care of business, getting things done. And I'm gonna stop letting things pile up and I'm gonna stop avoiding things because I sit back and I think like, why am I so stressed and why? Or unhappy it's because I'm doing things that I'm doing it to myself honestly I'm doing it to myself I can't blame anyone else but myself here we go I know we all make mistakes I'm not trying to be hard on myself but right now I kind of need to so biggest thing today gotta pay a couple bills I have a grad school assignment due on the 8th so today is the the fifth so I have a few days but I just want to get it done so I don't have to worry about it I need to edit two vlogs including this one. So this footage I'll be editing today. I'm gonna get those two edited because I have to post one tomorrow. I'm gonna film more tomorrow. It's gonna be a great week and I'm just, I need to find the balance and I will and I'm excited and it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna go up and take my shower, maybe drink more coffee, because why not? I need some coffee to get me through watching this sad game. I think this is my next order of business. I just did a book review of this for my one of my grad school courses and I would highly recommend 